on everybody the original Mako back with some more vampire survivors content and today we have another update preview for the next update patch 0.6.0 which is coming out uh, around the 23rd of may so a few days from the time i am recording and posting this um and we're just going to talk about some of the things to come and go through it and give our own thoughts like we usually do so that's the plan and here oh oh no 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 oh no 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 oh no 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 hold on <laughs> yeah that's gonna be that's not gonna work is it uh let's just do that um anyway here we are patch 0.6.0 estimated time of arrival is the 23rd of may and it contains five new achievements a new bonus stage which is always exciting and fun uh, one relic to access two minor gameplay mechanics. Not quite sure what that's going to be, but there's one new relic that leads to two new minor gameplay mechanics. So, uh, it should be interesting, and he actually talks a little bit more about this later. Um, two new arcanas, as per usual. You know, we still have a lot more arcanas before the full release of the game, so um, that's to be expected with, like, every content update, I'm pretty sure. And another rank for the skip power-up. So nothing too crazy here. Um, some tweaks. They halved the base duration of the um, uh, the new uh, weapon that looks like a drill and its upgrade. The Shadow Pino and Valkyrie Tuner. Uh, Shadow Pinion and Valkyrie Tuner striking attack has a damage bonus depending on how long it's been charged. Which I think is probably why they had to have the base duration to balance this. Um, I'll test it out. I'm going to be honest with you. I, st I, I still don't think it's going to be good. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, Arcana XIX 19. I believe that's 19. Um, no. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but it also affects Valkyrie Tuners or Turners. No, Tuners. That was, yeah. Also affects Valkyrie Tuner's striking attack. So, Heart of Fire does not only affect the um, Fire Wand anymore. It will now also affect the upgraded version of the little drill uh, when it actually launches. So, might make it better. Probably still not worth using, but once again, we'll give it a try and find out together. Um, every bonus point in armor now also increases retaliatory damage by 10%. Uh, music and music mods can now be previewed in the stage selection screen. So, a few little tweaks here and there, um, mostly to the new weapon. I don't think these tweaks necessarily make it significantly better, um, but we'll, we'll still test out the new weapon anyway and see kind of what happens. Uh, due to the amount of work needed to improve on the save data issue with Mac and Steam Cloud, um, this patch and future patch, 0 0.7, the next one, We'll have less content than usual. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but I also hope you have fun with the new little mechanics added in this patch. So they've had to, you know, have a lot of work with the save data issue that they've worked on, uh, which means there's a little less content, but yet still pumping out the content at a very regular pace. So even if it's not much, you know, I know I appreciate how often content comes out. I think a lot of you guys do too. So um, <clears throat> not really a huge deal there. Uh, and then... One of the new mechanics, one of these new minor gameplay mechanics, is mostly for players who simply enjoy playing the game even when there's nothing left to unlock. So please don't feel like you have to grind for these new bonuses. This tickles my jimmies a little bit because if it, I'm at the point, obviously, where I have nothing left to unlock. I've unlocked everything. I've got 700, 800,000 gold. So I don't really have anything to strive for other than, you know, kill records, you know, beating my own high scores, stuff like that. So if there's extra bonuses now that you can grind for a little bit, a little bit grindy, that's good in my opinion. I think it's good to have some sort of mechanic like that in a game. That way people who are at that point can still play for something. So I'm excited to see what it is. Uh, and hopefully it's, it's a decent bit of a grind, not just a simple grind, but like an actual grind. Uh, future content unlocks and achievements will still be unbalanced on the vanilla character stats and power-ups, and so will not expect you 
to have accumulated any of these new bonuses, curse excluded. Um, this has to do with the new one of the new mechanics that they talked about here, these new bonuses. I don't know what those are, so I can't really say what exactly this is trying to say. But regardless of what it's trying to say, I know I am just super excited to see what this this grinding bonuses uh, mechanic is going to be. So I'm excited for the new update. I can't wait to play it. Obviously, I'm going to be bringing you guys a ton of content on it. So be sure you hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss that. Um, and I'm also going to bring be bringing you content on all sorts of other games in the future. So hit that subscribe button. There's going to be plenty of content coming your way. Make sure you check the links down below as always. If you want to see me play some cool games live, you can check out the Twitch, Twitch link right there. I might be streaming as you're watching this. So come on over, stop by, say hello. There's a lot of really cool people over there. So come check it out. Regardless, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Let me know what you think of this update down below. And yeah, I appreciate each and every one of your faces and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.